thought I'd just show you uh, one genus of mushrooms, uh, which are very common. This is a russula. Let's see if we can get some light. And russula are pretty common in the woods. They look kind of like, you know, Super Mario Brothers mushrooms. Um, one of the ways you can tell russula is you look at the stem, and all the stems of the russula are straight, right? So there's no bulbous base. It's just straight up and down. And then the cap, um, sorry, the gills, right, are always white, and they always have gills. And then there's actually a space between the gills, uh, the stem and the gills, as far as in where they meet, and it's kind of divoted, so it's not actually a full space like an amanita. And of course, uh, the difference with an amanita is it would have a bulbous base, right, which can easily be broken off, so you gotta be careful. Rusula also are said to snap like chalk, right, their stems, and then they also have a pellicle, right? Um, so you can actually peel this little layer off the top of a russula, right, and the rest of the mushroom is the same. So if you have those characteristics, you have a russula mushroom. Um, so I only eat the green russula, which are uh, the quilted cap russula, and um, there's just a green straight one, and those ones are edible. A lot of these, if you do a nibble test, are really acrid or spicy. Uh, there are a few red ones that are edible. There are a few red ones that are totally poisonous. So it's a little challenging uh, figuring out edible russula. Although some people uh, from Europe say they eat several of them, which um, people from the U.S. are questioning. So there's a little bit of debate as to how russula can be prepared as edibles, but I'll just stick to the green ones. And uh, y'all have fun with Rusula. Peace out, friends. Thank <sniffs> you.